All right then, gang, so we're going to take what we know already about Animate Presence to show a modal on this final page after like three or four seconds of the user being on it. And that modal eventually it's going to contain a button which a user can click and it takes them back to the home page to order a new pizza. So for now, we're just going to do the first half of the modal and we're basically going to control the showing of the modal after a few seconds. So first of all, what I'm going to do is go over to the app component and I'm going to create a bit of state inside this root app component. And that state is going to be a Boolean when it's true. We're going to show the modal when it's false. We're not going to show the modal, right? So let me first of all create this bit of state. I'm going to say const and then we're going to call this show modal. And we need also a function to set this. So I'm going to call that set show modal and set it equal to use state and the initial value of this will set to true just so we can see it in a minute but eventually the initial state is going to be false so it doesn't show by default okay so now we've done that i want to actually create the modal component so let me save this and then over here and quickly let me just update this so it's state not state and there we go. Okay, so let me now create the modal component. I'm going to call this modal.js. And there's a few things that we need to import at the top, first of all. I'm just going to paste those in so you don't have to watch me write them. So it's just the React library, then the link tag, which we eventually will have inside the modal from React Router DOM. Then we have the motion and animate presence component from Framer Motion. Okay, so next let's create this component. We'll call it modal and set it equal to a function. And it's going to take in the show modal prop because we're going to use this to dynamically show the content. And remember, we had that bit of state right here. So when we register the modal component in the app down here at some point, we're going to pass it through this show modal prop. And it's going to take that in right here and use that to evaluate whether we should show the modal or not. So inside here, we need to return some kind of template. And what we're going to return is an animate presence component remember this is what we use if we want to exit something out of the dom at some point and we do we're not just animating the modal in but once we click on the modal inside when we click on the button we're then going to animate it out again so we need this animate presence okay i'm also going to add the exit before enter prop which we saw in the last video and this makes sure that other exit animations are completed first before this starts to exit so inside here now i'm going to evaluate this thing right here because i only want to show something if that is true and we saw how to do that again in the last video we use our curly braces because this is dynamic content then we say show modal logical and which is double ampersand and then the template we want to output so only now if this is true it will output this template now inside here we need a div element but it's going to be a motion div element because it's going to animate in and out of the page so motion dot div like so now we're not going to put any content inside this div at the minute this div is going to represent the backdrop of the modal so you know when you're on a website sometimes and you get a little pop-up, the background fades out a little bit. Well, that div right here is going to represent that background. It's going to be a semi-transparent sheet that covers the whole web page and it's going to basically fade out the content underneath it. So we want to animate this in and we want to eventually exit this out. And we'll give this a class first of all, class name, so we can style this a little bit in the CSS as well. And that is going to be backdrop. And then inside this, we need the animate property. So animate is equal to something. And in fact, what we'll do is create some variants. So let me create those up here first of all. So const, and we'll call this backdrop. We can call it backdrop variants if you want. I can't be bothered. So I'm just going to call it backdrop. We need a visible property for our animate attribute. And we're just basically going to say, look, when this is visible, animate the opacity to be one. And then also when this is hidden, we want to animate the opacity or rather set the opacity to begin with as zero. This is going to be the initial state. This is what it animates to. So now let's say that our variants are equal to backdrop right here then we also need the animate property so let's do that next animate and that is going to be equal to 
this thing right here visible so visible and then also the initial attribute which is equal to hidden so now when this animates in when show modal is true that is and this animates in it's going to animate from an opacity of zero all the way to one so it should fade in right so that's pretty simple now we just need to export this component so we can use it in the app.js so let's do that export default modal like so all right then so now we have done that let me go over to app.js and i want to import it in here first of all so let me do that i'm going to say import modal from dot forward slash it's in the components folder forward slash modal like so and now we can nest this component down here in this component so i'm going to nest it outside of all of this route stuff because it's not going to have its own route instead it's just going to show on top of the page when it's triggered when this bit of state right here is true so let me just add it underneath the header and say modal like so and we're also going to pass it in this bit of state right here show modal so let's pass that in as a prop show modal is equal to show oops show modal and also why not let's pass it this other bit of state as well this function to set the state set show modal just in case we use that inside the modal component later on so set show modal is equal to set show modal okay so we're passing both of those in to the model we can accept both of them as well so show modal and set show modal like so now if we were to save this at the minute and go to the end screen well we don't actually see anything the modal component is there but we don't see anything and that's because really it's just an empty div that doesn't do anything it's not styled in the css yet so why don't we now style this up a little bit so let me open up the index.css and scroll right to the bottom and paste just a couple of styles in so remember this model over here has a class of backdrop and in our css we're targeting that class now the position is fixed meaning it's going to be fixed on the screen when we see it uh, the top is going to be zero left is going to be zero so it starts right up here in the corner of the screen then it's got a width of 100% and a height of 100%. So it takes up the whole screen that we see. And then the background is semi-transparent black. So this is the color 000 RGB, and that's black. This is the opacity 0.5. So it's semi-transparent. Z index is one, meaning it's going to be above everything else. So let me save this now. And if we go over here, we can see that now all this is covering the background. We have this semi-transparent backdrop now. And by default, remember, this is showing because we set the initial state of this thing, show modal, to true. If we set this to false, then it's not going to show. So only that shows when that bit of state is true. So we need a way now to toggle that bit of state from false to true after we've been on this page for maybe four or five seconds or something like that. So how are we going to do that? Well, this component that's showing right here, this is the order component. So first of all, let's go to that component, order.js. And we need access to this function right here, set show modal, because we're going to be using that to update this from false to true inside this component. So let us first of all pass this down as a prop into that component. So where is it? It's the odd one right here. So set show modal is equal to set show modal save that and come over here to the order component and we'll accept that in as a prop okay so we want to do this after a few seconds now i'm going to wrap this inside a use effect hook otherwise it's going to repeat the set timeout that i write every time this component is loaded in and we don't want that we only want it to happen once as we go through the pages so i'm going to use the use effect hook which will run once dependent on when the component changes or rather this value changes because we'll use that as a dependency for the use effect hook now if you don't know what i'm talking about whatsoever then it's probably a good idea to check out my react hooks tutorial where i talk about the use effect hook in great detail so remember that link is down below but anyway we're going to use the use effect hook right here now 
This needs to be imported at the top, which I've done right here, use effect from React. And this basically takes in a function as a callback, which is gonna run. And inside here, this is where we want a set timeout. And this set timeout is also gonna run a function after a certain amount of time. That amount of time is gonna be 5,000 milliseconds or five seconds if you prefer. Now inside here, all I want to do is use this function, set show modal. So I'm gonna paste that in and we're gonna set it to be true. So when we're on this final order page, this last page of the whole experience, then it's gonna run this use effect hook, right? And that's only gonna run once because we're gonna pass this in as a dependency right here. So this means that this is only gonna run when this value changes and the component reruns, okay? If the component reruns and this value is still the same, because we're passing it in as a dependency right here, then it's not going to rerun this. So this, we can be safe in the knowledge, is only gonna be running once. So this runs after five seconds and it's gonna set show modal to true. And remember, when that is true, then if we go to modal over here, when this is true, it's going to then show this thing and it will animate in according to these variants right here that we have. So if we save this over here now, let's cross our fingers and hope this works. So after a few seconds, we should see the backdrop fade in, which we do awesome. So we are now halfway there. The next thing to do is actually show some kind of pop-up over this backdrop and we're gonna tackle that in the next video.